Oh, brrr. The freezing cold weather has well and truly arrived. The snow may thrill the children having fun making snowmen, but sadly wildlife can suffer in harsh weather, as I witnessed firsthand this morning. I live on the edge of the River Thames, inhibited by many beautiful birds, including the magnificent swan. But swans are prone to accidents. The majority of injuries are to do with human activities such as out-of-control dogs or swallowed fish hooks and line left on the riverbank by unthinking anglers. Well, this morning I saw a very distressed swan on my riverbank. It was cold and clearly most unwell for whatever reason. So my neighbour called the swan ambulance. <laughs> yes, truly she did, and it came within minutes, plus a swan handler. So let me explain. I also live close to the swan sanctuary, which is situated in Shepparton in Surrey. It's the largest and only completely self-contained Swan Hospital in the UK. It was founded in the early 80s by a local lady, Dorothy Beeson, in her back garden by the riverside, when she came to the aid of a swan with fishing lines stuck in its bill. Back in the 80s, the swan population had reached critically low numbers due to the lead poisoning from the weights part of fishing tackle. This incident led to a life devoted to the well-being of swans. Dorothy worked tirelessly. She sold her own home and moved to create her first sanctuary in Egham. Outgrowing this, the sanctuary finally moved in 2005 to a new five-acre site in nearby Shepparton. The size and scale of the operation has surprised Dorothy, who was awarded the British Empire Medal for her work with swans. The new sanctuary, developed on the site of an old gravel pit, consists of a hospital wing, complete with operating theatre, a heated intensive care section, and a recovery area with an exercise pond. 86% of patients <laughs> are returned to the wild. Euthanasia is rarely used, and only the really disabled birds stay permanently. A large five-acre lake that connects to the Thames is packed with swans, waddling on the banks or gliding serenely over the water like huge meringues. The local public around here have become aware of the sanctuary and support it, knowing that they can call for help should they see a distressed swan. Help is at hand, and the swan ambulance, manned by a swan handler, will swiftly come to the assistance of a poorly bird. So why are swans so accident prone? Well, swans are not the best flyers, and if they miss a wing beat, they can easily plummet. And once landed, they need a long run before they can take off again. With their formidable six-foot wingspan and hefty undercarriage, a swan looks as reliably airborne as anything else around here. We're close to Heathrow Airport. But every autumn and winter on the M25, crash-landing juvenile swans cause as much traffic congestion as car accidents. Most injuries are not life-threatening, and the lucky ones will end up at the swan sanctuary, where they're examined, treated, and rehabilitated before being finally released back into the wild. Wing amputations from road accidents and air rifle injuries are all in a day's work for Dorothy Beeson, who works tirelessly with a skilled vet and an anaesthetist nurse. The Swan Sanctuary costs thousands of pounds a year to run and survives through the generosity of volunteers and corporate sponsors. Even my local Budgeon supermarket donates their out-of-date food on a daily basis to feed the patients at the sanctuary. I'm confident that with the sanctuary's excellent care, my sickly swan will make a full recovery. Out of interest, the colourful annual swan upping ceremony, which takes place on this stretch of the River Thames in July, used to be a way of rounding up spare signets for royal banquets, possibly for Downriver at Hampton Court Palace. 
I am pleased to report it is now more concerned with monitoring the numbers and the health of the swans. If you need to report an emergency, call 01932 240 790. Please ensure you have the exact location of the sick or injured swan to hand. And take a look at the website www.theswansanctuary.org.uk Thank you.